Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jan from In Sales Academy and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through Mailshake. We're gonna do a review about that. So we're gonna look at the pricing model, if it makes sense for you. We're gonna look at uh, the main features. We're gonna start off by signing to Mailshake and having a customer journey up until sending our first cold emails. Okay, so this is the Mailshake website and I've uh, never used Mailshake before. So I'm gonna sign up with my new email I have uh, and let's just walk you through the sign up thing. How does it work? Okay, they already have an account. Your full name, uh, Jan Kartusak, uh, Jan's team, your email address, Jan at insalesacademy.co. Password, how did you hear about us? I don't know, man. Friend, colleague, what's your friend's name? Damn, so we can thank them. <laughs> so you can sell him. No, um, I don't ever actually know how I heard about them. I think it was just Google search. I'm not a robot, of course. And uh, let's just do it, continue. Uh, cool, now I'm gonna choose my plan. If you're not 100 satisfied, let us know for a full refund, $29 per month. I don't really need anything of this, just for testing Mailshake. So I just wanna sign up for this one, basic. Uh, basic monthly or yearly I'll just do monthly number of users one here's the thing Mailshake already asks for a credit card I'm not sure if that's a good advice to them I mean probably is you can ask Sujan Patel who's the CEO uh, many SaaS products don't have this so I'm not sure if it uh, actually brings them more qualified leads or if it uh, kind of uh, all the influx of leads that they have it, it kind of backfires on them uh, but they probably have some experience because i haven't seen this in woodpecker in other software tools i wasn't ready for that man and now i have to buy this shit with a credit card let's do this for you guys hey so we're in we have paid successfully um so we'll see what happens he has a video here Okay, I don't want to see this, so I'm just gonna go next. Uh, never fear, help is here. Okay, start. And let's just run through quick campaign and see how it compares to other tools because I have used some other ones. So here's the, the start. You know, you have to connect your mail account. That's always with these tools. So let's just connect it with uh, G Suite. I always recommend G Suite. Uh, you know, I basically just go here click on my account and I allow it to do everything. Cool. Uh, paid G Suite accounts have higher, it's important to play nice by Google. If your email address or domain new, start your sending at small volume. Google can block or limit your sending. So here's what I, now I'm getting from Mailshake, just first impressions is they are really trying to uh, give you a lot of tips about sending cold emails, which are really relevant, especially when it comes to logistics, which other uh, software providers don't really do. Uh, they write blogs, but they don't walk you through each step like this. So I can just go next, tweak your signature. So I just copied this one. Uh, I like this signature, it's very simple. It only has this and I have a link here to the website. And you can see that my domain, I'm, I have a different domain I use for outbound sales. I want font, look, they are giving you recommendations. I want font sizes, colors and images. Don't, do, don't add too many links, start with a blank line. Uh, feel f blank line, what does he mean? Like this? Maybe, feel free to leave it blank. All right, let's just do this. Auto clean formatting. We saw some special formatting in your message. Generally recommend against colors, font sizes. You see, so they really, how would it look? Now it looks like this, okay. Please review these changes, choose an option at the bottom. Yeah, accept changes, I don't care. Okay. So you see, they have a lot of artificial intelligence or whatever that is, it's helping me out. So we're gonna set up our first campaign in Mailshake and I do have a list that I can upload there and just try it out. So the title would be just, just randomness. Random. Uh, from address, yes, next. You need to now uh, drop in a CSV file. So we just go here and we download it as CSV and we just Push it here, we got it. Now, it says recipient email address is my email column, which is here, exactly. Now, other columns you wanna replace with text. Now, I'm gonna replace a company name, I'm gonna replace directory and custom to comment, right? These are the fields that are gonna match in the email. 
uh, to each company. Next, one recipient has a generic email address, info at insalesacademy.com. Remove these recipients. It may be fine for your use, but it can hurt your email deliverability to send to non-specific email addresses. Now, I don't know why this is here because I have experience with generic emails and they work pretty fine. So some of them are email spam traps or something like that, but you know, most of the emails are okay. So uh, sanity check, right? Okay, I'm just gonna ignore this. But it's again, new thing that I haven't seen in the other software tools. Now you have to compose the email. So I'm just gonna say hi from in sales academy. And I have a list of, uh, I have an email that I'm just gonna copy here and it's gonna say, hey, I found you on and I'm gonna insert now, where did I find them? Which, uh, which uh, what's this personalized uh, you know, thing? So I'm gonna say company, fallback text. I don't know what this means, fallback text. So I'm just gonna do this on and directory is <coughs> insert directory, insert, yes this there needs to be a space here and I wanted to reach out because we help software houses this is just uh, an example I'm of course not reaching out with this message right now custom comment insert Hello, getting some coffee in Prague is a call to action Bastian and PS if you don't more, more if you don't want more emails from me just reply back and I won't bother you again so the real cool thing with Mailshake is they actually give you a rating which says real-time analysis initial email good so far Mailshow checks email. So if you get here, get a free campaign with you, uh, you actually just go there, you say you, you want who you're emailing to, what are your goals for this campaign, and they will basically review your email like I do. So pretty cool. That I haven't seen that in other providers as well. So we have this, we can send a test email. Um, so I think it's okay right now. I'm not adding any follow-ups. But if you do, you can actually say send after two days unless we receive a reply, right? Or open and in a reply chain, yes. Or you can say in a new email. So it doesn't have to go uh, in the same chain with a new subject line, perfect. Uh, there's an add drip uh, and add on click. I don't know what these means, add on click. Wait X days after a click, okay, got it. So I don't, I don't need anything of that. So let's just, it's gonna click next and we'll see what happens now Re preview and personalize each email you see so they even tell you like personalize each email nobody's doing it so we see that this one is getting uh, a personal message this one is getting a personal message this one is always custom you see this one is getting personal message i always made names so like i'm reaching out to amazon right uh, on the collage, right? So these are made, uh, made, uh, made up comments and made up names. Uh, Netflix, like what? So you can see all of them, nowhere, I found you on nowhere. Uh, all of them are pretty relevant and there's a signature here. Uh, so each of them has a different body of the email and beginning is the same, which I wouldn't do, but this is how this is. Uh, so I think it's all good, next. And now we're gonna track something. So we're gonna track opens, yes, track link clicks. I don't really want to track link clicks, but here's a cool thing, probably. F disabling tracking may affect your rules, okay? So if you do this, schedule, no, I don't want to schedule this. Lead catcher, what is this? About lead catcher, okay. So when does a recipient become a lead? You see, I haven't seen this in other software tools as well. So when does it become a lead? When it opens? Well, when it opens five times in a row, then it becomes a lead. I can have this rule, but then I need to track links. Okay, no, I don't because it tracking opens. Okay, but if you want to track links, then you should have this checked. I don't need to, so I will not have it checked because the deliverability will be fudged. But if somebody opens it five times, it's gonna be a lead. I'll obey the laws and I'm gonna schedule this in my time zone Europe uh, today at what's the time? Uh, 3 25 p.m. Okay, we got it. Next. I think that's it. Now it's waiting for something. Oh, I need to confirm it from address, recipients. We have these recipients here, messages. Okay, I think it's all good, start campaign. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's running and you can actually see here's a summary of all your campaigns. Of, of this campaign, random. Hi from Intel's Academy, so far 0% open, zero click, zero reply, zero bounces, zero unsubscribes. 
Uh, we got six recipients. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. Uh, with the dashboard though, I don't really know what this means. There's nothing here. A simple solution for email outreach. I mean, if I go back, if I go to the dashboard, it's just confusing to me. Why is this here? Because it's real. There's really no need for the dashboard. I don't know if I can just delete it. Uh, and then you have your mail accounts, which is mine. You set up your signature. We already done that. You have your unsubscribes. You can set up a custom tracking domain here, which is cool where you want to track links on this domain, which doesn't affect your sender score then. Uh, I pretty much like it. Uh, the billing is 29. Yeah, so, and these, these are the campaigns. If you set up more campaigns like I did, you see here, uh, I have three campaigns running already. So I do random and you have a calendar here that you can expand and check it out view and tweak your calendar and you can set up actually here uh, in the rules start time for sending out emails you can block out some days uh, you know what time zone maximum emails per day what's your strategy space out over the day send as fast as possible uh, 45 minute between sends minimum emails to send at the time maximum email so it's pretty pretty good uh, and here's the lead catcher. I think this will track all the leads that I have uh, marked and it will open it five times or, or more. Um, for $29, it's pretty much worth it. I know Woodpecker is 40 something, $40. And it, it has some functionalities that are kind of better, but it also doesn't give you this AI intuition, intuitive feels uh, when it comes to crafting your emails or it doesn't remind you like hey personalize your email don't send more emails like it, it really educates you a lot uh, Mailshake and I really like that even um, Sujan who's the CEO of Mailshake he has a lot of content about cold email online and uh, there's a lot of basically videos and uh, the huge playbook how to run cold email campaigns so I suggest you take a look at that I learned a lot from it and I run cold emails so so we're gonna try out uh, Mailshake for a month with my team and we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna try out it, try it out for my company. I'm not gonna try it out for everybody else. I do not have any affiliation with Mailshake or Sujan or anyone else. Um, this is just a quick review to give you guys a feel of how it feels because you can't really go there and try it out as a demo uh, when you basically sign up because it's not free. So I just wanted to do that. And in the next video, I think I'm gonna try out Sales Handy, then there's Outreach.io, and then there's a bunch of these, even Woodpecker. And we can uh, figure out if it's okay and which one works for you, right? So which one would be great for you if you have this much budget? What do you need for? Are you reaching out uh, to like a huge cold email campaign? Do you have a sales team or do you just have yourself, you're the CEO, then you probably will enjoy Mailshake. I think Mailshake is ideal for a one, two person team who is reaching out to a very targeted audience, who is personalizing a lot. Um, I think Mailshake is, is great for that. So we'll see. Uh, the interface, I like it. So if you look at LinkedIn, Mailshake has seven employees. They have 14,000 customers, uh, which is quite a lot. But Woodpecker has, I think, 1,000, but they pay them more. Um, so, and they have a much bigger team at Woodpecker. I think they have 40 people or 30 and Mailshake has only seven people. And I think that's including Sujan, but he's doing nice upsells with uh, Voila Norbert where you can basically, if you upload the CSV file, they offer you free cleaning or something like that because he has more companies related to email outreach. So it's a seven person team uh, from the US, right? So you all, all, all these tools are developed in different countries. I think Sales Handy is from India. A woodpecker is from Poland. If that means a lot to you that these guys are from US, then you can count on them. Um, I think there are some stuff that I haven't covered because there's always something. But I think you got the, the basic idea of Mailshake. So check it out if you want 29 bucks and they give you a refund, I think they said. So pretty cool de uh, deal. Cool, hope that helped you. If you have any questions about Mailshake or any other email tool, let me know and I'll be here. Anything, verification of emails, sending emails, sending limits, what do you want to know? I'll have the answer to that. I'm going to do another tutorial next time for this. So I'll see you. I'll see you there. If you want a cold email audit, jump into IntelsAcademy.com and sign up for my newsletter. I'll, I'll rewrite your email. Cool. Thank you. And I'll